Hello there, and um, we're now looking at the screen of Nearpod, which is how you guys are completing your Google Classroom training. Um, so one of the things I wanted to show you was how did we put this Nearpod onto Google Classroom, as the two are um, seamlessly integrated. So to log in with Nearpod is, I'm going to use the Language Arts account. Um, and you have the password that I've given you um, on your in your uh, Google Classroom right now. Um, so what I'm hoping that you guys are able to do is be able to basically take a look at some of the things that we have to offer. Um, so real quick while I'm here, you can explore your library that we have um, and look for all the different things by grade level, by subject level. So if I want to look for all the English language arts through fifth grade, um, and I see all the different stuff that we have here, um, it's an amazing uh, tool. And we here at the school are very lucky to have um, a uh, login for all, every department level, uh, social studies, math, science, and language arts. Uh, and also one for the specialist. So I'm going to right now uh, assign a session. And to do this, you can do Nearpods in a live session, uh, working with the students one-on-one, -on -one, or you can do it as you guys are doing it right now in a homework self-paced session. So as you can see, I can email it to the student, uh, put it out on a social network, give them the link, embed it into my website, or use it through Classroom. So I'm going to show you how to use it through Classroom as I'm going to assign this to my literacy class. And I would like to create an assignment so they can. And right now I would put uh, habit number seven, sharpen the saw. This due date will be on the 27th. Save that and I will assign it. So just like that, I went to my Nearpod account, which I really encourage you, especially if you're going to be working here. This is an amazing tool. Um, I'm one of the uh, Nearpod certified trainers, so if you need any help, you can come and find me here. Um, and we have our, here we go right to literacy, and the kids are able to then get their Nearpod, click right on it, and it brings them directly to their screen to right to the lesson that they need to work on um, what they'll do is they will send it send their answer and they get to work at their own pace answering questions as you guys have seen with uh, or you will see a little bit more with this feature of Nearpod so uh, you get to see two tools here and how that they interact and the next time uh, we talk um, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about Quizlet, which is another thing that we use here in the elementary school. Um, but right now, I think uh, I'd like you guys, if, if you would, just go ahead and take a look at uh, Nearpod and let me know what you guys think. All right. Uh, have a good day. I'll talk to you soon.